Next up is Frenzy, yet another map by our good old friend Dario Casali. This is a solid map, really good. Um, though yet it's another one of those ones that isn't. I don't don't often remember seeing in rotation a lot on most servers back in the day, which is a shame because it, like when I say it's solid, it, I mean that it's solid. Uh, it came out in uh, on January thirteenth, nineteen ninety nine, just like Crossfire. All right, so right away you're gonna see that this is a somewhat symmetrical map, not quite. Um, they both, it's kind of a loose kind of ring shape, um, with a few tiers and like different levels on each side. So if you start up here, this is one of the spawn points I might add, so you might spawn right in front of the rocket launcher, which could be both a good and a bad thing in case people are actually up here, because you know, you might be get shot at right away to anyone who's actually waiting. So you got some supplies starting up here, get yourself some grenades, don't fall down. Well, I guess we'll just go the opposite way and start down here. So in the center area, you can see that kind of ring shape I'm talking about. Well, actually, you can't because of the door here. But if I go over here, you can see what I mean. That It leads into another area. And if you walk all the way around, you get right back over. So I guess starting from here now because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you got this one side, which has the shotgun. Good stuff. Um, if you keep going this way, you can get into this little area, which is exclusive to this side. With some snarks, SMG, all fun party stuff right there. Go up here for some uh, gauze ammo. Very good. Get some claymores. Only on this side, might I add, can you get into the little center area here. Which leads you into the area we saw earlier. Got a charger, which is full. On, I mean, I guess not full. The opposite of full, actually empty. Go figure. Um... You got a spawn point there, so don't, don't keep in mind where your spawn points are here. Because I feel Dario Casali made it, the spawn points very punishable. Like the one with the rocket, the one in the corner. If you're playing with fewer people, they might like, and especially someone who's memorized it, you might find a grenade to the face just like that. So yeah, be careful. Let's go back this way for now though, get some rockets in that one corner there. If you're on this side, instead of the shotgun, you're going to get a hive hand, which is not that good in this map, to be completely honest. Um, another spawn point, like I said, a lot of times you're going to spawn in the corner. So just keep that in mind. Let's head back this way real quick, though, because I wasn't quite done showing you the fun times to be had up here. So if you were to go over here, you can grab yourself another SMG. You can then go from the, over here... To climb some ladders to get to the top way. I'll show that off in a bit. Get some grenades here. Always good. I feel like fire randomly firing them tonight for some reason. Not sure of the reasoning to that. Get some claymores. I don't know why there's doors here. This is actually something that bugs me partially about this map. Because it's not. It's pretty open except for the doors here. And you can see the physics on them are a little bit wonky. Um, or rather the reactions can be a little bit wonky. You know. Or sometimes if you... Someone went through them, and you try to follow them, they might not, like, the door not, might not open for you. That's actually happened to me before. Tried to demonstrate it there. I don't know if I really made the meaning clear. Now, this is really important. Grab the gauze here. Because using it, you can actually get to some areas you can't normally. Not just these grenades here. But I remember last time I played this map, uh, the old version of this map, I don't know if I actually pointed out that if you gauze jump, you can do not that. You can actually get to... Oh my! Well, I'll, sh I'll show that off later because clearly I don't know how to play this game anymore. Not that I ever did. You know, I just pretend to know what I'm doing, honestly. Um, but yeah, never mind. So I'm going to just show off the rest of that one area here real quick. Because if you go up here, here's that ladder I was talking about. Which gets you up to here. So be really careful, I might add, while you're climbing up here. Because there's a very good chance someone's going to have the RPG. It goes both ways. Someone could be waiting to kill the person spawning near the RPG. Or, alternatively, somebody could be camping over there ready to fire at whoever comes over here. It goes both ways. But yeah, see, grab these grenades so you can throw down there. Always a good idea. Get some gauze ammo. Get some more grenades. Just, you know, if you see people down there, you want to be taking advantage of the fact. Okay, now let's go back here for quickly because I, I wasn't done demonstrating something. Okay, if you don't mess this up. Why must I fit you to cock? I know why. Because you want to go up here. Oh! Okay, god damn it! I don't know why I'm being so terrible all of a sudden. There we go! Goodness. There is a little hidden area with no items, but 
you can hide up here and take advantage of the fact to, you know, rain some really hot death on people. You can also jump on the lights, which of course are connected to the roof, because why not? Um, so yeah, that's good. You can do that on both sides, and I'm actually gonna show you one more thing. It's identical like that on both sides, so there's... When you go up there, you'll have a similar experience, but... You need the gauze to be able to get up to here to grab the long jump. You might be able to jump from here to here with a good jump. I'm actually not too sure. I've never done it before. Someone probably will tell me that it is entirely possible. But yeah, that's about it to this uh, map here. Small map, really tight. Um, let's go play it. Actually, I want to test that theory right now. Could I? Well, never mind. I'm not testing anything this time. Obviously, play if you got the claymores. I don't usually like to tell people just randomly place claymores, but on this map, that strategy could actually be semi-effective, just because of how closed in everything is. I mean, obviously, if you have like 32 people in this map, it is going to be absolutely insane. Like even by the other map standards, you're absolutely going to just see absolute just chaos, just like the apocalypse take place, the Cuban Missile Crisis going on in this map. But, you know, I am a loser, and I like eight people in my map, so. Yeah, especially do that. Yeah, go ahead, grab that shotgun, see what happens, Nekoar. Go, go ahead. And maybe you're smarter than that, I don't know. Oh, someone fell for it. The nice thing about the two SMG uh, spawns in this map is that they actually come with some grenades next to them. So immediately, you got a lot of firepower for going to, for those. Oh, those double kills. Mm. Oh, I'm just on a rampage with the shotgun. I am wielding... Oh, my God. That was just t absolutely brutal. Oof. I'm a the real frenzy is me right now going... Ma being mad that they didn't have oatmeal squares at Superstore today. Oof. Well, before the round ends... That seems possible. That seems very possible to jump from that ledge. Yeah, fall for- No, I just killed myself. Never mind. Oh, uh, yeah, Frenzy. A very personal favorite of mine. Unfortunately, a little bit underplayed. Come on, guys. Let's get some more of this in here. <laughs> 